as a collective. And the side's going to be theirs. It's just going to be that wrap around the back. It's going to be the big Sender finds point one. to keep your eye on. Exactly. And Sender's already cracked it open. So big and starting to feel that squeeze very early at this point. But a quick trade out at least potentially facilitate that spike plum. But it looks like Vitality won't deny that by getting a little aggressive. Oh, yeah, actually, Obnox going to find two headshots, Gather and Vac will fall. Actually, Obnox will find a third as well for good measure. Just one left to find. Sender will fall and open here. Aslan actually going to be enabled here with the Vandal in hand. Actually, Sender. Oh, great swing oh, on the back of that trying. contact. That's a nasty swing, but okay. The, the Spectre on the trade. Any damage here is going to make a little That's bit of money. Able to jump over that trap, so I don't think Big will be aware of just how deep he is. Obnox again going to explore. We'll find back. Straight up, my shadow yeah, finds a second, and Casper is one to deal with now. He was a little bit disconnected here on this lurk. Left. Didn't find value early on this time. It's three kills for big hit. Yes, they will concede the round, but good damage done, removing a couple of the weapons. One by games of how they like to feel this out, and it looks like, yeah, that's a great read from Kata. Already oh. going to try and... Who confirmed a lack of presence outside B. Twiston will actually find left. an opener here, so... Still achievable for Big. It is, but Brams is just going to be on buying time duty, and that's not how you do it. Twiston's going to remove him, and now suddenly the site looks accessible. Spike, going to be a little troublesome to go down, but Obnox, that is beautiful work from him. Shadow tries to slip Again. through, but there's Obnox. We said it. This guy pops off, he starts feeling out that game early. Maybe he's the player they need. And the three seem a bit early, but now here comes the hit. There goes the on backspin, somewhat unchecked. Oh, he's made a bit of a meal of it. Still gets away with two. Where is that spike for now? Yet to be planted. There's still shadow lingering around. Bram still by the box. This is still issues for big. Poison's not be falling back from this. I think they have to cut their losses for now. And see if they can make the info seconds here left. at the entry point. Oh, They're blocking no each way. other. They actually passed each other. Oh, this is this is horrific. Brams just gets a little lost in the source, and now it's a 2v2. 20 Last seconds now. Standing. It is all on Twiston. 1v2. Whoa, he's got one! Does he predict the second? The he's got 13 seconds to play with. He has the spike. How Twister does he want to do this? Down. He wants Dead. that fight! <laughs> he gets it, but it goes all astray. -ish. Brams down on the judge. That's probably a byproduct of the ultimate being invested. But big. On the back of these Seekers, going to try and find something up through Pace. double doors. Massive pace change from Obnox up towards middle. Casper as well, threading the needle through towards sight. He's going to have a, a Scott free kill on one and maybe a follow-up. It looks like Vax all too aware, but gets caught with his pants down. Sender, now put to task because it's a 3v2. And once again, we're consistently seeing Big finding these approaches that really do seem to catch him off guard as maybe the res will try and bring him back to the feet. But Obnox again, look at guy. It's going to be inevitable. Yeah, Twiston's right there in the back lines. Big. Now, look. <laughs> right. Let's get back into things. Just, wait, wait. I'm, not, I'm not even ready for the round to start. What is this guy doing? Man. Like, can we... Uh, again, some of these players, like, they have that... Oh, that's a dirt space. That's huge information. This should, if anything, really Spike resound towards the players on B, but that's even better. Bram Biden, who's on the attack? Obnox is on an island. He just needs to live, which is now getting kind of scary because they pushed out. I actually quite like that Spike from my yeah. left. Maybe a little bit of a, an antidote. Ooh, what? <laughs> just snapping his wrist. No way, man. Justin. Yo, let's go. G give me another. Give me one more. One more. Yeah, yeah, Walk yeah. It back. Slowly. No! Oh. Keen to almost get a feel for the setup ahead of some of these sight hits, but they're punished this time around. Sender overstepping the mark slightly there and twist and punishes. Seekers popped here. The drone will come through and decent access towards A here. Kind of will actually find Aslan though. Doesn't seem to slow things down. The Viper's bit invested as well. I don't see those ults really come through, Twiston being the tip of the spear, and he actually wants some more. That's a little brave, but there was the follow-up. A good trade comes out for Casper. 30 seconds The not-so-friendly ghost at that point. Spike going to go down a 3v2 advantage, sitting towards B. Spike planted. Cadavra and Vac. He's going to support the site. A little unhand flash, but no one there to find one from the other side. But looks like Vac should at least note where Obnox is, but just knowing where he is is one thing. Trying to take him down is another. Spacing here. Flash actually gonna give... Oh, oh no! Obnox is just a movable object, right? This guy just seems to be right... That'd be what you'd be looking mm. for here. Yeah, that'd be a remedy. Uh, and this could be certainly something to look out. Cat is in a bit of trouble encroaching. I say slowly. It is our main man, Obnox, who's been an absolute force. Get I get one way. this time as Shadow's still the backbone. Trying to hold on to that B site. And the last... We'll cancel it. Operator in hand. Try Bram's there to punish through, and as I'm oh, no. as well, it comes to a two v two. It's getting throwy. What? It's getting very throwy. And go map, unless Kada can save it. 
And that is not looking likely. Oh dear, other than if you're the four, you lose the four v two. It's it, it, it's it's so tricky. Regardless, we're going to the second half, the ninety three, and Vitality needing uh, a bit of a performance here, and that could be a start to it. Gonna put body on the line. Spike planted. Big instant. 35 on Brams, 56 on Sender, so definitely doable here. Casper will find Sender as well, so brings it to a 3v3. Standing ahead. Shadow, got to be the playmaker here with that stack of HP. No way Casper's expecting that. What? What is the the cerebral play from some of these players? Free damage coming in, Shadow. It's all on you. It's all in your hands. No way. There was nothing left in the mag. Diffuse comes. You see there's interest being... Oh, that's that's not gonna work out for you, is it? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Spike. Unlucky back. NT. Next round. Um, it just feels like Big's getting everything they need. Vitality are getting no room, and I, I was watching them play. And I mean, Sender was quite impressive to watch. Look, you know, very individually, like you know, talented. And, now we're seeing another shallows in a world of danger. Flashed away, forced away. Big four alive. Diffuse comes in. Eleven to be fat. Tight hit. Full set piece coming in. But Casper so prepared for this as well. Cad has just isolated and removed the tip of the spear. Now looking blunt. Quick swing from Obnox as well, making light work of that. Big are just so robust in this. And again, they still can't move Casper. Sitting like a statue on top. Not so fast to send her. Maybe looking for that late lurk. Looking real lonely now as Aslan takes him out Ow. and it's a game. This is genuinely a dangerous team. Genuinely very dangerous. I was so interested was well. Casper obviously is setting up completely to counter Kada basically. Beautiful theory crafting coming out from the brain, which would be God B, and now you've got the swarm with Obnox, it looks like, or whomever else stands up at the time. Aslan this time fancies a moment in the spotlight as already Vitality being just chipped away at. This is not uh, Spike down kicking a. and screaming on the way down. This is just a meek performance from them. I really hope there's more because this was their choice. This was Vitality's map pick. And right now it's down to two. Back and Sender. Barely 70 Back HP between them. Leaving it all in the hands of Back and Casper. Oh, move his head. It's actually you can kind of have these the retreat opportunities here, but straight away, big. On the what back of that thing? contact from A, you're going to rest on towards B site. We'll find... That's it. Ooh, Shadow Brams finds two here. One enemy remaining. Yeah, this is this is beautiful Five work down. coming out. That's a shutdown. It's five alive and Vitality wow. instantly. Decent position here to split onto A. Brams completely out of there. Twiston, I feel... You know, you saw him on the first map absolutely popping off, but that was just a bit of a shaky shot, but it'll be fine. There's Vitality going to also fall away, so a little bit deeper, calling those rotations. Casper is towards Psych, though, so there could be problems, as there it is. Four still stand, and looking towards Vak and Sender to do a little bit more damage. If they can get down Spike one planted. more, this could be imperative. Gun here. Be able to retrieve something up on Heaven here. Last Sender, before you can even get anything done, will be shut down. Back, the last man standing. You find any further damage here again? Looking for big to hold on to three rifles. Some sentry cheaper double op to run, and back going to show you the impact that this can have. Members are able to slip through. Back again, looking to re aggress. You'll find God B spike noted spike down, as mid. well. Damage actually onto any of the vitality players right now, so they can stack up around this. And Bram seems all too aware of the possibility of someone trying to walk the smoke towards top middle, but he filled that gap just perfectly as Aslan and Casper. Not looking so likely to get anything. Vitality again. When they win, they win clean. If on, so I think they've got a good idea. This is a possibility. On the first and the second. You get the third. Casper going to swing out back on point with the operator right now. Vitality clean things up. Done, right? They, they have that safety of retreat. But there is something as a, a turnaround is that you just play pure sight hits, right? This is where you have to lean into that, which does also play towards Chamber because he does have those, I guess, slow AOE effects, right? So it does make it a little bit trickier to make it work. Spike gets lost on the cross, but it should be collected and now move forward. Back a little too far ahead and yeah, Obnox with the punish towards Sender. This is perfect. They didn't have to overpeak on this. Vitality could have held for a second, maybe a little bit of discipline shown. But now Brams and Shadow put to task in a 2v3. I don't know how they're going to break this one back. I almost want to know where the hell Obnox was off to there, but to look back at that. Rams and Shadow now with it all Taking to do on the way back in. 
Sat will punish Sat's shadow, finds a response though. Can he find another? Has that very low HP. Stop that. This is where it gets really problematic for Shadow. Nice on crossfire. crossfire was yeah. going to be held, yeah. And you for now, we see one of the ops with Vac. And an early start here. Sender going to get a one-for-one one trade out. Twist and going to put him to bed. But already, Vac's in a bit of danger. Yeah, put in the corner. <laughs> Unable to play out of it. And it looks like they want to speed up the pace here. Shadow is going to find one. Is he able what? to find more? Yes! Shadow turns on a dime and finds two. Now he needs some more. He gets more! Shadow, how are you doing this? As Vitality convert the round of the back. It's on my trap. And Sender can be played in off this with Cata by his side. Actually, first we get out, but the Neural Theft will give away One enemy remaining. the information necessary. He still finds it there. That's a little push up outside of B main just to catch that. It's about this push from Vic. Yeah, Sender though feeling aggressive and confident. He does punish Aslan for that big play up middle. It's still looking deadly as Obnox turns around and actually finds two. Kader and Brams get called off. Now this is from to Sender. He's isolated. He can dip away, but he gets thrown, oh, twisted out of the air. Sender, what a bit of impact from him. 40 HP. Can he still do something with it? Turns the flash. He's still standing, but only for so long. Gonna pop the old. Has to respect it a second, but he's still looking for that pixel out of the place. But three players gonna play back in through mid. But look who's waiting. It is Obnox, and this guy has been a monster. And that monster comes alive again. Gather and send He gets what? Shadow as well. This guy's a beast. What a performance, be it on Sky, now be it on KO. He's showing some real diligence, but there is Brams and there's Vax still standing. This round's not over yet. Before, try and find something early here though, as the spike is ticking away. Twisting, we'll seal the deal now. on the That should be a one and done for Obnox. That just goes to show, uh, okay, well, so Twisting will cash back on the way out there. So. This one looks like a little bit of a trap set here. Twisting on the corner. Senders now send it. And here comes the second layer. It's the second string of a hit. And actually it works with Vitality. They put it all in to try and deny at least one approach. But already Obnox has got himself towards sight. But the spike hasn't committed. There's still room to breathe. There's Aslan. Gonna find Kada and now open up that paranoia that... Wait, there's still one by B. Oh, an Obnox. What? See, setting this in such a way. Vac, though, going to work in like, quickly towards this. And Obnox can be trying to play as patient as possible. Let's see information when that spike gets tapped. That's one. He wants to follow up as well. He can't get it, but now it's on Aslan. Patience has to be his virtue here. Patience actually not shown at all, but timing-wise, Mike, Shadow's going to be right down to the wire on this. Just about, oh, yeah. got it. Something for that post plant that could be nice. And here comes out of the hand. Flash, catching two. And Kata going to try and lock it in the corner. And this is the aggression on the extremities we expected to be seeing exactly a great deal more with maybe Chamber at the helm. Root. They might try and pressure towards Sender. No. Oh. Are they going to try and push it? It looked, I'm wondering it looked if like they did, right? Sent something in, they yeah. They try and arrow through that smoke. Did they do, yeah. Aslan finds it. Yeah, it, it was a nice little set piece. Give them at least a, a now an even post plant 3v3. And they get to take in towards market, which is actually a nuisance if they try and cross through. You can see the attention put towards this. Cass was going to punish Kata, and now it's down to two. Shadow still stands, and this man's been an absolute immovable object on towards the site. Vax still focused towards the back of site, and Gobby wins a critical fight for them. Putting now Shadow in a really undesirable spot. And I'm Shadow, it's all been noted, and it's all about time, and Aslan that is, is going to play it. He looked like on this attacking side. I always find it very telling how they want to approach Bobby, just trying to play the game, and he plays it well. Going to take down back for the next layer, the next string to Vitality's approach is looking a little bit more deadly. Shadow Spike there with a good trade, B. takes down Twiston. Gobby's still on the no, side. He's, he's trying to play him like a fiddle. He does eventually get overwhelmed. Well, it's a little time for Obnox, but Vitality still with the bigger numbers, favorable numbers, Spike. able to trade in effectively. Just avoid that. I thought he might Boy. even get punished for not shooting that arrow, but again, no confirmation of the info here. So Aslan has an opportunity to at least find a, an opening peak. Shadow doesn't spot him on the first, does on the second. The shot will confirm it now, but Shadow down to 10 HP here. Has to be the first and the double swing. You don't want to walk into it, but for now, we do have the players falling away towards the site. It's going to be Gobby taking contact. Now that's fine if he falls. That kind of just kind of confirms his presence. That's where the problems begin, though. Twist and finding back. Now suddenly Vitality know there's way too many players here. And the tags come in. Gobby still standing. Can't convert. Sender on the corner. And now what has gone on here? It's a 1v3 and Brams all but noted. Every step heard. Aslan on confirmation. Twist and wants the frag. But there it is. Big what? hit the rotations. This is the one there. He's felt out the pressure instantly. That's going to be big, big information found. 
three agents noted, but even with the information, they start to deal with them. But twist and timing's everything. And oh, camera reads him like a book. It. That could have been such a game changer in this, but it's not to be. Beautiful work on the other side. And now the spike's gonna go down. You can't. Let us side, a little bit of a swing Locking comes out from Hobnox, and away we go now, the spike is still towards main, that's with Kata. This is 13 seconds, this isn't gonna work. Uh, it's they just, spike you, down don't try page. and pull yeah. big rounds against big, it, it doesn't work. Yeah, Shadow Locked can get a little punish, sure, but at this point you got four alive and, and no one's falling for any of it. I mean, I, I can see the, the intention there, but they know nothing of the setup here. So they've got to walk clear through all of this. I don't like this at all. Yeah. yeah, technically, obviously, but it comes down to just the, the rifle at the side, right? Like that. It's not a theory you want to be running. Twiston gets good information as well. I'm pretty sure he noted two players there, if I'm not mistaken. So again, big pool comes in. They can get the rotations through. Good work from Sender, but still, it's a 4v3. Down to 17 seconds. Spike yet to get towards site. Twiston still at the back. He's still a support. Casper right remaining. there with him as well. So even if Kata wins this, he tries to get towards the site, his body's in the way, so Kata's trying to do what he can, isolate another, but time, and Gobby's loving it, he's going to make him take so long, every single fight's going to be laboured. I feel like it's damaging them, Twiston again going to open things up, try and find that wall I thought it was going to happen, I, I, I think I've been out of casting long enough because I was waiting literally right just here, quietly, man. I think I have to tell you what's happening in some of these rounds, however, at this point, Sender, Shadow and Kata, what is this game? This is madness! Twiston's gonna find Kata. Got B gonna try and buy some time here. Desperate for another sender denies. Massive impact from this man though. Sender's the doing really oh, nice in this round. And the res comes in. That's huge. 3v2 left. now. Man advantage towards Vitality and Got B rips it away. Be able to get. He's a very late round piece here. Sender will find his fourth. Just one left to find for Vitality. He's, he's being the difference maker at the moment. Sender bailing them out with those two huge picks on short was everything. And he's going to get the ace as well. Did you enjoy the show? Deserving. Is he back? He'll be rewarded with a kill. On the other side, Bram's all fine. It's a falling apart for big in the early rounds. What's going on here? Yeah, Casper's in a world of trouble now, and he knows that he's hearing the utility being called in. Sender what? just looked away, just looked away. Twiston's uh, gonna punish him for it, and now Casper tries to swing out, get the best of them. And is this the round they're gonna even up? Oh, of course, of course. Get everything you knew about Valorant. Um, I'm sure some other chap like, but if you believe it. But look at them being able to sit through by tree. Hopefully Twiston can see that line of sight. He can actually. Why do mm, fight big it? boon for Big Bear. Now oh, here's that no. punish. And it's gone to pieces. That was the main piece of that puzzle right there. Maybe that puzzle through. Point. Fell to pieces. I, I feel like they had a really good opportunity to double peak spawn there. I don't know if Cadders just swung ahead or if he was the one trying to dictate that play and calling, yeah, I'm pushing up three. Flashback. Underhand flash. Quick. Yeah. Beautiful. Pick up to sender. And instantly leaning back towards middle. I think they know what Vax trying to do here is it was something they tried to look at last round, and that's been read. Really, literally, the book's been left on the table. But Brams, by the of success, that could ferry a little bit of passage through. Gobby points him through the wall. Brams has gone down. Shadow and Kata, what can you do with this now? They can at least get the spike towards the site. They can get a plant, but it's all about the post plant, and it's a 2v4. In the down, both players committed to site right now. Oh, full HP. They have to find something on the way back in. The recon bolt will reveal it. Casper will find the last kill. Big will close out 13 11. God be in that last round here because send up. Piece, yeah, yeah, I was going to say he's making his way up to try and backstab into ropes and Aslan will. Uh, middle, maybe finding that pick onto a Aslan, but not going to happen. And then they're pinned in here. Now that's a good breakthrough moment though. Casper going down now means at least they've got some passage through towards the site, but instantly Godby's going to try and put himself in position. That's one. The follow up would be ideal. It is. He's going to get two. It's a vitality depending on Brams to get him out of a tricky spot. And he's actually done well enough to at least put them into a 2v1, but the HP is low. And sadly, he's stuck in a corner. This is a Tricky way to cross out, what's gonna happen? <laughs> Twist and half on the way, but it's slow support, it's slow progress, and that's a quick kill. The follow-up as well, Brams, huge Beautiful. impact. Not too much progress here, you see Vitality considering this rotation once again. Trade comes through on site, and the spike still tucked in towards... Audio cues are plenty. Smoke now dissipates, and he's gonna be able to note at least one, now two. He sees the gun getting switched out, it's shut down, Sender. That's the spam is through. Not any tags here, but Sender already closing I the distance. Exactly Obnox punished on the back of that. 
collateral theft will confirm the setup as well. But actually, the spike maker is. He's in so much danger. Look around that corner. But as by side tries to make a leap for it, trade comes out. Gobby gets one, gets two. But now look at the HP 13. He's always got to work with. Really? Needs to try and. He's going for what? Gobby, who is this man? Spike now going down. A little bit of time bought as well to allow Twiston Spike to get planted. towards right. now Gobby to be the trade. Had a massive information. Just Stunned. shoulder Perfect. peek. And now Twiston. Again, moving in, first peak found, and now it's viable, Last it's possible, but the HP difference is tremendous. Oh, a no Gobby! Way. Out of nowhere, leading by example. That's such a... The pixel now noted, it has to... He was considering falling away, but tries to re-aggress, that could have been everything, but Rams... No, no, do they try and steal pressure towards that A site? Yeah, I was going to say, the weapons you could be a concern it. here, Casper down on a Spectre. We get punished at distance there, VAC! Play it again, just to still consider one player tucked in. Key Twiston. Dancing with death here. Already closing the distance, so too much for him to deal with. Kane, I think with Brams in position, might do just that, but Sender on the other side of things will... No man's land, it's just the rifle in his hand and he gets swung on by Shadow. 20 seconds now, can Gobby do it again? Surely not, not again! Gobby, what?! what? Three Last huge kills! Gobby, right now, is keeping this team together. And Casper, sadly, does only have the shotgun to play with, so... Kills. Looks like Brams might even swing on him, and he does just that. The time he... Can't yet to that middle piece or this push-up that they've been consistently doing. That's different, though. Aslan... Oh, too much of a problem. Let's see if they can control it now. Back on route, gonna at least step towards the side, but there's all that utility. It's just a mountain's worth in his way. You're gonna have to post that eventually. And there's the push through on the smoke. Casper appears out of nowhere, but his shadow unrelenting. He's not gonna fall away from this. And Brams still lurking towards middle. Finds the impact eventually after lingering towards vents, towards those ropes. As Brams and Shadow still looking to do some work here. Gobby high flash goes in. Does nothing out of it. Time beginning to dwindle. He's gotta make his move. Brams just gonna be sitting pretty, playing the time to perfection as and down shadow and Gobby actually gets Brams. Incredible things down. Oh, what? Let's go through. The, where no did that way. shot just go? Was that between the legs? Was legs. A hundred percent, it went through his legs. Absolutely nutmegged, and not in the right way. So now, oh, woo! <laughs> Obnox on the pure. See if he's good for one. Uh oh. He's got support. Yeah, that's uh, good for one, but it's Obnox. Oh dear, it's getting messy. This is this is a weird round. It's a 1v1. Uh, that's a couple of times now. Obnox has just seemed not like Obnox from map one and two. Um, yes. Whether or not we see that as a... I'm pretty solid here, keep in mind. And actually, yeah, it just gives him the fade away. God be not going to answer it. Aslan. That's where things get horrible for him. He knows he's in so what? much danger. Wait, Aslan got that? You got a kill on Takada. He got a kill on Takada when? When and how, and now Casper talks it. It's a 2v3 on the side, two towards CT. Hulk comes out on the other side, and Obnox is there, catching Sender towards Heaven. And it's a bit of a problem for Big to try and hold up towards Heaven. Backstab. Mail no room, way. and you're right, Twiston. Just getting around the back lines. The call has been made. Front hold this time, a little bit deeper towards the edge of Rafters. Swing on one, beautiful adjustment. It's actually Aslan to claim it towards Brams. And he's pretty safe here for now. No one hitting that lurk on him. Two of them there. They can play the time here. Allow support to come over. But Casper wants it himself. This could tie it all up. Back. Gonna be put in a very tough spot. Some presence towards Evan. Casper now needs control towards B main. He can't do it. Send it out. Now 25 seconds. Spike gonna go down. Obnox gets instantly challenged. He, he thought that wall was gonna keep him safe. Not the case at all. Two big picks from Vitality in such tricky positions to clear. Nade comes in as well. Aslan could be in danger, and he is. And that's going to be that build-up from Vitality would have been for nothing. That would be a devastating blow. So we go back in, and already Aslan, Beautiful. quick as light. Big want to slow things down now with a man advantage, but Vac and Kata go drifting elsewhere, and they'll find Casper again. Deep. Playing the timing well. Here's the audio cue and looks to swing on it. Finds Keep nothing. Deep. Bit of information, sure, but no frag off the back. And look at the utility just flooded the site again. Got B and Twist and finding critical kills when it matters. And Big somehow stabilized there because he's starting to get so full away from this, and he's just now a problem. He's a thorn in their side. Spike is now down. They have to try and clear Sewer. They're going to speed up to try and get away from him. Just ignore that factor completely. He can now go lurking somewhere around behind them. This is going to be a moment away, and now this is where everything's going to become so, so scary. And there's the trade out. Already, we're down to just three remaining. Look at the HP. Brams 18, Cadaver 10, Vax 6 HP, and there's Twister. Makes his appearance again. And this is all falling to pieces. Vitality. They looked like they had such intention. Their own game, not falling into the trap really really well considered 
verge of things going right. A little bit of timing towards middle here and there. Send uh, go back away from this twisted. Twisted just going. Is that well? Well then, I'm off. Just gonna dip away from this for a second, but you're gonna be in such a weird position. Obnox tries to get around. But it, what is this round? It feels so know. weird because look at Twiston's positioning. They have no idea he could be here, even though he was the player that got contact on. Surprise! Can it goes and it is a three v three. Yeah, Vac does have that. Sh Will he post it? Let's hope for the best. He does indeed. He finds a kill. He finds a second as well. Come on, Vac, give it everything you got. But now it's down to Casper. Not gonna get it. Brams by his. We'll be fine. Do what Kata can do. Ooh, they lined up a little. There's just a little bit of a line up there. <laughs> There's a moment. Just a little there. bit of a yeah. line up there. Um, Aslan does win that fight, so Casper getting ready for the push out for the trade. Actually loses the fight, but he read the play correctly, but Brams outdoes him. And Brams has been pretty instrumental in getting a couple of these integral picks coming back in. As Vac waits, actually sticks around and does double down. So finds two out of this one, and we are down to just two. Hobnox and Aslan, and where are they? Both dedicated to working their way down. <clears throat> one drops towards hell. And Don't swing left. left. Oh dear, Brams the timing. Could not be better. It's all his. Brams again. Ooh, Kada. Back. Lucky to be alive, honestly, yeah. at this point. And Kada's still finding value. Great reposition, a little bit deeper towards CT, leaning towards site. Twiston's position, as deep as he got, it's still being considered by Brams, who's been pretty much good on this. The walkthrough, though, Farrell gives away the game, and now Crunch comes in. But Kada's doing great. Still standing, takes down Obnox 3 in play for big. Much more can you do, Vac? Still alive! Not sure how, how? I tell you. Not sure how. No, don't want to. Maybe not a replay on that one. Kata, no. though, is again seeing it time and time again. A couple of missed Long pieces of utility, a couple of moments here and there. But this time, Twiston has broken in. Taking down Kata is a big first step. Is good player? Does he want to go for that? Or is that too risky? There's the op. What? Oh, this game! My fuck! <laughs> what is going on? Did that one for there's so many rounds where you can see big making yeah bad he's alive miss. it's a bad miss <laughs> but he's still alive oh brams is a walk it'll be fine right here we go flash goes in sight take commences aslan gonna be at the tip of this shadows has been generally good for one and he might be good for more Ooh. the smoke does actually only get one from this for now but his supports there catter and back not too far off leaving casper and gobby to try and face the music now can they do with the position they have? I mean, do they get a clean fight on this? Yes, that's one! Casper! Casper. Huge play! Finding Sender up in towards heaven, and now Kata, he knows that he's stuck. He's in such left. a dire predicament, and Casper's watching this. He sees a pixel Casper. out of place! What a round from the man, Casper. Guys on the player working through towards those ropes as well. Left. That's kind of the indicator that that's about to start. Now, Big need to really sell this, and that's a good way to do it. Just put your life on the line. That'll do. Now, the reveal's going to come out, though, and Kata's still in position. Vitality are not done just yet. Maybe the reverse sweep. Maybe the OT. It could all come through. Twister, though. Big pickup. Does find Kata. Time, though. 12 seconds and spikes in no man's land. This is what we want to be left. seeing here, Hypoc. Not really, no. <laughs> Vax gonna trade that back out. God be the last man standing. No time left and Garp on the rifle today. I'm not surprised he's opted for that, but let's see what else I can do. Flash does nothing. That's a good confidence booster coming to this round and already gonna lose out on having Kata hit. And yeah. Okay. Yep. But it's tricky Doesn't to catch Gobby. Oh, made a mistake. I turned away at the wrong time and now Gobby is on an island. 10 seconds. Can he do anything about it? He gets one. He needs to find Ten potentially seconds. another at this point. Cavalry's on the way. God B. When they need him, he finds a little bit of form in this one. And he even shuts down on Sender. Big strike first. Kada to get something going here. We'll actually find Aslan this time. Speak as well, though. Need as the UI seems to know more than I do. God B does go down. And Twiston. Looking for a way back in, but you can see Sender's position is yeah. really solid. Still going to get a trade out, but again, this is messy. Oh, Even just twisting down. alive. I feel as though this one be to be wrapped. Thirty seconds. Just inside left. ropes. <laughs> in case you were wondering, not a fair amount of space. It's going to be this A hit. Cage triggered. They've got 15 seconds. They better not make a mistake. And here it comes. Already as I'm going to punish Brams on the cross. Looks towards CT. No one's there. It's all towards the site. Twiston has to be on red alert. Here's the steps. Now he's got to note there's players nearby. Should catch Kata, but makes a meal of it. Now, luckily for him, Aslan's had his back here. So he's found Vax. So again, a favorable enough shot comes out. But Kata on the absolute Ferrari peak towards Aslan. And it looks like the UI's given up altogether. As Obnox isolates Sender. Looks towards the site. Tags towards Shadow. Shadow and Kata 
Both what low can HP. you do with this one? Yeah, exactly. You can see it won't take much, but again, the pincer movement's coming in. Finally, they're starting to clear the side. It's going to be Kata looking towards Gobby. Gobby wins it, and now it's on Shadow. A 1v3. He can't get it out. And, and at this point, Casper's got him done. Into this? Twist, and that's dangerous, yeah, that's and maybe playing bold. a little too dangerous. Going in blind. So maybe that's why, but... Right out here, and look at it. The spike cam, the utility, Ooh, and unison. Spike down, <laughs> Where is everyone? Lovely work, Obnox. This is going to have to be pretty special. Heroic levels. Oh, it's not looking likely either with Shadow here. <laughs> yeah, this is. Oh, they, they get Brams, but again, keeps composed, keeps patience, and it doesn't pay off. Kata, just quicker. And the sights there. There wasn't anyone super close by. It was Casper, I think, who was the nearest by to this, but Gobby still trying to do some damage up from heaven. And at this point, we're down to a 2v2. Enemy remaining. Obnox will find one though. Cata falls. This one left to find. Back now tries to spam through, but the double swing. Point. It's so interesting there to, to know uh, just how much time is bought from Aslan repositioning. And I think actually there's an attempt to try and sell a fake with recalling some of those Astro Stars, but that gets it just swings Shot. out. Oh, back. Getting a second as well. Getting Gobby down is incredible work. Now, yes, Ops is still alive. And back edge, he gets caught with an aid in hand. And suddenly, there's an opportunity. Kata and Sender. Where are you now? This is where they need you. We've seen Kata having some impact and Sender going huge. in the timing's a factor. Tap on the spike. Sender trying to draw out the first potential victim. Kata spots one on the cross. There's that res coming in now. They know where these players are. As I found Sender, it's all on Kata. And it's not going to work.